These are the commercials that I get on my channel now. How'd you like to see that thing roll out at two in the morning after she tricks you at the bar? Those are the uh, those are the commercials I get on my channel now. The girdle videos, and I get the ads to become a Latter Day Saint. But we're HVAC sinners, and uh, <laughs> I think it's funny. Um, yeah, you see the beanies on. Uh, I'll post up some pictures. Uh, summer's over, and it came quick this year. It uh, it's 47 out right now. And then up in the hills, we were going to go to Reno for street vibrations, to motorcycle get-together thing. Um, but I couldn't get over there because it's uh, snowing on the pass. on highway 80 and i'll post a picture of that weather so it's already snowing up there which is god's never done that this early probably never in my lifetime it's crazy uh thursday i'll be in austin texas at about noon we're gonna go down to sixth street or is it fourth street check out the music scene i'll probably be doing crushing a bunch of beers trying to get the hvac centers hangover going good We'll be going out to Paris, Texas on Friday for the Bring It Home Parade. Harley, the longest parade of Harley-Davidson motorcycles with the Guinness Book of World Records, which is currently held by the country of Greece. If you want to know more about it, go to a, a YouTube channel called Adam Sandoval Rides. He's a guy that's putting it on with uh, Paris, Texas, Harley-Davidson. And he has a campground in Moyers, Oklahoma, which is not far from there. We're gonna be partying at and having a good time. I'll definitely make a video. Hopefully we break this world record. I will be wearing the purple suit. I might wear it Friday and Saturday. Get that thing good and filthy. I think I'm gonna do that. We'll, we'll look into it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, if any of you guys are out in Texas, um, let's see, I gotta try that. Everyone says you gotta try Whataburger, whatever that is, I gotta try that. I gotta try some barbecue. Um, what's the beer out there? Lone Star beers? I don't know. Um, leave me some comments on some things I need to do in Texas. If you guys are in that area of Texas, I might have time to say hello and crush one with you. Um, my phone number's all over this channel. Feel free to call me, I don't mind. Um, I'm gonna be with my buddy Eric. He's gonna be on a Road King with a Milwaukee 8 and I'm gonna be on the Heritage Softail with the Milwaukee 8 engine. Um, and I got some more news about Harley Davidson stuff coming in the future. Um, so that's going to be the plan for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'll still be in Texas coming home on Monday. Uh, <clears throat> oh man, the Ninja makes a good cup of coffee. Hold on a second. We're going to, uh, clean up this ice maker here I got going. And then we're going to go leak check that York package unit I really want to see where that thing's leaking at I see <clears throat> usually I find them leaking the evaporator sections um, this one's not micro channel I've had the micro channel condensers on the Yorks they're pretty much Swiss cheese but it should be interesting to see where we find this leak at gonna go ahead and take the lid off of this thing to uh give me access for better leak checking so uh that's where i'm gonna go we'll just start ripping off the the screws and we'll get the lid off i just noticed this i didn't check this the other day look where the fan blades at inside the well um that's the bottom of the shrouds up here, and the fan's way below it. Probably because the body of the motor's longer than the OEM motor. The way I'm looking at that, I, I'm going to check with York. I, I think that fan blade needs to be up higher. And you're going to run out on this motor. So that's interesting. I thought I'd bring that up. That's something i got to check, too. All right, now we got the lid off. We could do some leak checking. To get some access to our evap, we'll uh, unscrew this. They got this little cover plate on there. 
And we should be able to sniff around. Give her the old Mr. Sniffy. Sniff, sniff, sniffer. Picked up zero on this thing. So I'm going to grab the field piece. A lot of people say the field piece works better for R410A. We'll see. Um, I'm striking out right there. I'm going to plug this thing in and get the battery charged up. It's a good time for a battery charging party. Um, yeah, I didn't even get a sniff. I know it's got a leak in there. So I'll grab the... Um, it needs maintenance too. I gotta wash these coils out and stuff. I'm gonna adjust that fan blade as good as I can too. Well, let's grab the field piece and see if the field piece hits the 410A better. Using my eyeballs. Look yeah, at that little dust trail. Back to the uh, dryer. I was looking at that. I'll stick the fuel piece on there and see if I get a detection. Look at this. This looks oily to me too, right here on the other side. Coming out. Yeah, that does feel oily. Like the oil dust. See that contrast? If I wipe it. See that? I don't know if that's coming out of the dryer interesting it's definitely suspect let me grab the field piece see if we get anything well oh, there it is the day the s the srl8 kicked the h10's ass Definitely getting a pickup. And then I noticed the coil. It does got some stains at the bottom of that coil, you can see. Um, like from there. We're gonna have to get an evaporator coil for these guys. Nothing on the condenser. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to call York to see what their warranty is. Once you come from this side and it gets it gets super crazy. the York serial number online. This unit is from 2011. We're in 29, so it's an eight-year-old unit. That's about right. Age for the evaporator coil to spring a leak. So I'll call York on Monday and see what the status on the evaporator is. Uh, warranty or not, we'll find out. But it needs a new evaporator coil. That, uh, that fan blade down about that much. You can see how much. So we can catch uh, part of it's in the shroud and part of it's out. Like that. So we'll see if that makes a difference or not. I might as well order up a coil. Might as well get the OEM condenser fan motor with it too. Go for the Gusto and a dryer. I need a 163S dryer. We'll be ready to fix this thing.